Let's get started with our first color, which is going to be pink. So I am using markers today, but if you have anything in your art box with the same colors, go ahead and grab that and grab pink first. And we're going to use our pink on a few different places. To start, we're going to use it on the circles that you see on the cheeks for our Emily elephant and also on Peppa Pig and the lips. So let's start out with the cheeks first. So we have those circle shapes that we know are on both of these characters. So we're going to color them in with that pink. And if you don't have the pink in your art box, use another color that's similar, or you can always use red that will work just as great. So with our pink now that we circled in both of the circle cheeks, let's use it for the lips. So we want to just outline it on our coloring page. You see it's black as best as you can. Just do a little line that follows that same shape all the way around nice and smooth and nice and easy. And it'll look like that for you at the end. Take your time with it. And on Peppa Pig, let's do the same thing. We want to just follow that same shape all the way around and just go just a little outside of it just like so. Once you do that, you can set your pink to the side. Why don't we go ahead and use our next color, which is going to be a light violet. So anything that's sort of a light purple or light violet color, grab that from your art box similar to this one. And what we're going to do is use this on Emily Elephant's skin. So let's start out with Emily ears right over here and put that in with this wonderful color, just like that. And we'll continue to go on to now Emily's second ear right over here. And if it makes it easier for you, you can always outline it first and then color it in. If you find that it helps to keep you within those coloring lines, beautiful. Now we can move on to Emily Elephant's face. And again, we want to just continue to move around the shapes that we see on Emily's face. So around the eyes, make sure to leave those nice and white and color around that pink lip that we just made a minute ago and continue with those other shapes around Emily's face just like that and be very careful right here around the eyes because it gets a little small so you won't have as much space to work with and of course we cannot forget Emily Elephant's very cute trunk right over here that goes right close to where Peppa Pig is wonderful so now let's finish out the rest of Emily's face with our light violet color. And we can now move on to a few other parts of Emily's body, which will be her hands right in here. And also the little areas that are the legs right here. And as you can see on this fun page, em Emily and Peppa Pig are on water. They're standing and playing on water. And the last part we'll use is right here. You see how we have Emily's tail. Why don't we outline that with our same color with that light violet, just to give it a little extra color because Emily's tail does match the skin color. Wonderful. Just like that. Excellent work. So set your light violet to the side and now let's color in Peppa Pig. So let's do that with a very, very light pink. So you want to try to find a pink that's a little lighter than the one we used before. So if you have sort of a blush pink or a light pink, go ahead and grab that from your art box. And if you don't have a light pink, you can always use a peach color if you have it. So something in that family will work great. So let's go ahead and color in our Peppa Pig now, starting out with Peppa Pig's famous nose. And now we can start to move down and very carefully move all the way around Peppa Pig's eyes, just like we did with Emily. 
and go around the ears just like that and same thing just continue to move along the lines and let's try not to color over right over that pink the pink lips that we made for peppa pig but you can see the difference with these two colors side by side where you have a pink that's a little brighter and this pink is a little lighter for peppa pig skin and let me know in the comments if you have some other characters from Peppa Pig you want to see on the channel. We can always try to work those into Sam's Cool Colors. Would love to do those with you together, step by step, having a fun time. And now, as we continue to go around, let's round out the rest of Peppa Pig's face, just like that. And once you've colored in Peppa Pig's face, now let's go on and do Peppa Pig's hands. So very small spots here for Peppa Pig's hands. And we also could do Peppa Pig's legs. So right in here, you could see those little tiny legs. We can color those in with the same color. And the same thing, let's not forget Peppa Pig's tail. So right over here, just follow that same shape very easily. Just go right around it, not too much but just enough so you get some color onto the page to match Peppa Pig skin. Excellent. So now let's go on and start to color in their outfits. So let's start out first with the color green. If you have green in your art box, go ahead and grab that. And we're going to use it on a few quick spots for the boots that Emily Elephant's wearing. So grab your green and very easily and quickly go right to the bottom where you have Emily's boots and let's color those in. And you could kind of start, stop right here where you see those two lines on this coloring page end. That's where your green will end as well. And now that you're done with Emily's boots, let's move on to the other parts of Emily's outfit by using the color yellow. So take a moment to find the color yellow in your art box. And we're going to use this in a few different places. First is for Emily's jacket. So let's go ahead and color in Emily's jacket with this beautiful yellow color. And once we put the yellow on the page, we start to see a lot of wonderful colors coming together and complementing one another very nicely. So just take your time, stay within these lines and just have a fun time coloring it in, relaxing time, creative time. And it's all about taking the time to make sure you have wonderful colors and you're staying in the lines as best as you can. And you're going to have a wonderful page at the very end, just like that. And let's not forget Emily's arm right over here on the right side. And once you color in the rest of that arm, let's use yellow on Peppa Pig's boots because we know Peppa Pig from time to time will wear the famous yellow boots. And so let's go ahead and make those yellow, those little two spots that are right above the water. Just like that. Very nice. So once you're finished with Peppa Pig's boots, let's go on to grab the color red. So find the color red in your art box. And we're going to actually use red on Peppa Pig's outfit. So let's go and start out with Peppa Pig's left arm with that red. And we're going to color that in just like that. And then we can go ahead and start to outline the middle of Peppa Pig's body with that red color. And just continue to go from left to right. You have a little more space to work with on this coloring page in the middle of Peppa Pig's body. So you can move a little bit more freely and we're almost to the end of our Peppa Pig's body on this side. And once we finish out here, there's one last thing we wanna color in to add a lot more fun to the page which is the water. So we'll do the water next. Beautiful, you're all doing a fantastic job out there. So we have our final color now, which will be blue. So look in your art box for the color blue. And with this blue, we wanna color in this, this little bit of water that we see Emily Elephant and Peppa Pig standing on. So grab your blue, 
So once you have your blue, let's go ahead and start to color in the water that we see below both Emily and Peppa Pig. And just continue to use your crayon or your marker or colored pencil, anything you're using at home to outline it as you go and just try to stay as best as you can within these lines. And once this blue gets onto the page with the red, with the pink, with the green and yellow that we currently have, it really starts to add some beautiful effects to the coloring page that we have and makes it a lot more exciting to look at. So again, you can get as creative as you want at home when you're coloring with me here at Sam School Colors. But if you wanna use the same colors, go ahead and find those in your art box as we go along step by step together. So we're almost halfway to coloring in our water. And once we are just about there, we're going to do the same thing on Peppa Pig's side and just be careful, very careful, once we get around Peppa Pig's legs to just make sure we are not coloring in some of the colors that we already did earlier and we can ensure that we give ourselves a nice beautiful page at the very end just like this excellent and we are now finishing out so this water shape on the bottom is very curvy you see all of these wonderful curves so it really makes for a nice looking coloring page once we're coloring, we have to just be a little extra careful because all of these curvy lines are tricky sometimes. So we want to just take our time and go around with the shape of these curves and the water that's on the bottom, just like that. So now we finished coloring in our page of Emily Elephant and Peppa Pig together using seven colors.